Scarlet's camera action! Me and Scarlet are getting ready to read this book called For Everyone to Share by Gillian Lobel and Daniel Howarth. It is so cute, little book. Look at the little mouse on it. Don't you just love it? Look. For everyone to share. Are you excited about this book? About a little mouse to see if it's going to share? All right, let's find out. Aw, that's so cute. Look at the little mice, Scarlet. Aw, little mouse was fast asleep in his soft little cozy nest. It was so warm and he snuggled next to his mother and his six brothers and sisters. Suddenly his nose tickled. Achoo! said the little mouse. <laughs> it's cute, ain't it? He did a big stretch with his tiny pink nose to his long curly tail. Little Mouse scrambled out of his nest. All around him was dark and dim. But far away, he saw something different, something that made his eyes water for a moment. What was it? Little Mouse pattered along a leafy tunnel, and strange smells tickled his nose. His whiskers quivered with excitement. And suddenly, he was there. There, in the big brightness, curio curiously, he tiptoed in the daylight. Look how pretty. I think it's pretty in the daylight. I see all kinds of things. And he saw a tiny fat person dressed in a furry little coat of black and gold. He zizzled loudly in Little Mouse's ears. Who are you? cried Little Mouse. Please tell me your name. The furry person sizzled even louder. I'm a bee, Little Mouse. And he flew away and landed on something yellow and shiny. Don't go, squeaked Little Mouse. Please tell me why you're setting, what you're setting on. This is a flower, Little Mouse, sizzled the bee. And he climbed right into the heart of the flower to sip his breakfast. Bee flower? murmured Little Mouse. What a wonderful place this is. He felt something soft and lovely on his back and lifted his eyes. Far, far above him was a glowing ring of light. It shone on his ears and toes and warmed them. Please tell me, Buzzy Bee, who is that? Little Mouse pointed high into the sky. That's the sun, little mouse, the blessed sun, and she lives in the bright blue sky. Bee, flower, sun, and bright blue sky, murmured little mouse. And what is that, Buzzy Bee? Please tell me. But Buzzy Bee had zipped away. Just then, something floated past little mouse's nose and landed right next to him. She was blue as the sky and lighter than the air. Oh, little sky, he gasped. Please tell me who you are. I'm a butterfly, little mouse, she breathed. A silvery laugh rippled over the flowers. Bee, flower, sun, sky, and butterfly, murmured little mouse. How wonderful this place is. It's a cute little mouse, isn't it? You like the mouse? It's cute. And there is even more, said the butterfly. Look! And she showed him the birds who fill the air with music, the whispering grasses and starry daisies, and the dew drops on a spider's web. Now I must go, said the little blue butterfly. Goodbye, little mouse. And up away she fluttered. Little mouse trembled with excitement. I will go home and tell everyone what I have seen. He's going home to tell everybody what he saw. Oh, poo. Poo, woo, woo. Poo, woo, woo. But Mommy Mouse was already looking for him. Mommy, Mommy, called Little Mouse joyfully. I 
have seen so many things here in the big outside. A buzzy bee, a flower, the golden sun, the bright blue sky, and a butterfly. The birds of the air, and so much. What is this place, Mommy? Please tell me. I want to know. Why, this is the world, little mouse. The beautiful world, laughed his mother. And they trotted home happily together. Oh, wasn't that sweet? Now that was an adorable little book, and it still ain't done. Yet. The world murmured, little mouse, as he snuggled into his mother's arms. The big, beautiful world. But who is it for, Mommy? Is it for us? Yes, smiled his mother. It is a world for bees and butterflies and flowers, for birds and spiders and grasses that sing. And it's a world for us, too. It is a world for everyone to share. Look, wasn't that cute? Let's see if that's all of it. I think it is. Oh, I love that. That was just too precious. Then Little Mouth gave a deep and happy little sigh. He curled up to his sweet warm nest with his other six brothers and sisters and fell fast asleep. Do you like that? Wasn't that wonderful? And this is the back of the book. It is so precious. And this was the name of the book for everyone to share. This was a beautiful, beautiful book. I really enjoyed this book. Did you like that book? Wasn't it sweet? Well, I hope you enjoyed this book. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Take care, my friends, and I will see you again. Bye-bye.